Welcome to Kit and Crochet. This video is just how to do a mitered square using double crochet increases. If you watched my video about how to do crochet increases, this instruction is included in that video, so you don't need to watch it twice. I just wanted to separate it out in case people were looking specifically for how to do a mitered square instead of how to do crochet increases. So this is just the mitered square portion of that video, how to do a mitered square with double crochet. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how I made this particular mitered square. So this one is using double crochet. It's going to start here at this corner and it's going to work out this way. So by the end of it, I'll have I think 48 stitches, but I'm going to start with just a chain, just like you were doing a regular square, you're going to start with a chain, but I'm going to start with a chain of four. So, insert my hook, I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now on this chain, these three stitches count as a double crochet, and this first chain, that's my corner. So I want four stitches in my corner chain. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to insert my hook in this corner chain, pull up a loop and finish a double crochet. Now I'm going to do two more double crochets in that same stitch. So now I have four double crochets, because remember my starting chain counts as one. I have four double crochets in my first in my first chain. So I'm going to chain three because I'm working double crochet, so I have to chain three to get the right height. I'll turn it over. And now every row, my center two stitches, no matter how many stitches I have, my two stitches that are in the center, I'm going to do three double crochets in each of those stitches. So normally I would have one in each, but I'm going to do three in each. That means two extra per stitch. Four new stitches for every row. So every row I'm going to get bigger by four stitches. So my first one, I'll do three double crochet, and I'll just work a couple of rows of this so you get the idea. Three double crochet in this stitch. Three double crochet in the next stitch. Because those are my two center stitches. And then I'll finish it off with one double crochet in my turning chain. Okay, so now I had four stitches, now I have eight stitches. So I am getting bigger, right? Okay. So for the next row, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn by chaining three. One, two, three, and turn it around. Now, pre the last time I did three double crochet in the very next stitch, but now it's two stitches bigger on this side and two stitches bigger in this side. So now I'm going to do a regular double crochet, just a single double crochet in that stitch, a single double crochet in the next stitch. And now I'm at my two center double crochets. So in each of these two stitches I'm going to work three double crochets. So here's one, two, three, and then three in the next one, one, two, three, and then I will finish off the row with three more stitches. One, two, three. And if you, if it's hard for you to, to just remember the center stitches need to have three double crochets, if you click the link in the description um, and go to the blog post, it will have written out row by row how many double crochet and then which stitches to do the increases in so that you don't have to think so much if you want. All right, I'm gonna do one more row. One, two, three, and now these are just regular double crochet for four stitches. One, two, three, four, and 
so that was four. Now I'm going to show you a trick. I know that the next video in the series is going to be triple crochet, so you haven't actually learned the triple crochet yet, and this is not required to make the square. I did not do this on this sample square, and it works just fine. But if you like it, if you notice that this has a little bit of a rounded corner, if you want that to be a little bit sharper, then on the very last row you can do this trick. So, I was going to work three double crochet here, Instead, I'm going to work two double crochet and one triple crochet. So a triple crochet is taller than a double crochet, so it'll give it a little bit of a point. Again, this is just kind of an optional tip, but it's not required. So, I'm going to yarn over. One, two double crochet, and then a triple crochet. And then in the next one, instead of three double crochet, I'm going to do a triple crochet and then two double crochet. So my very center stitches on only my very last row are triple crochets. So it's a triple and then two double. Again, this is optional. It is not required. It will work just fine if you stick with doing three double crochets. And then I'll finish off the row with double crochets. One double crochet in each stitch. So I'm going to stop there, but I think you get the idea that that is how you do a mitered square with increases. So this is like the very beginning of this, except notice my triple crochets on the very end make it a little bit sharper of a point. Totally optional. If you choose to do this, make sure you only do it on the very last row. If you do it on every single row, you're going to end up with this like diamond pointy shape instead of a square, which maybe that's what you want, and that's cool. But if you're going for a square, do not do triple crochets in the middle of every row, only on the very end. Okay, so that is it. If you want, again, stitch by or line by line instructions for how to do the mitered square, check the link in the blog post or in the description to go to the blog post. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Happy crocheting!